Another approximation that we can make to the rate laws that are determined from our mechanisms is the pre-equilibrium approximation. This will help to simplify those so that we can compare them to experimental data. Let's look at the pre-equilibrium approximation. The pre-equilibrium approximation can be applied if I have an equilibrium that is a fast step prior to the slow step in the reaction. This means that the equilibrium will be established very quickly and no matter how fast I use B up in the second reaction, which is slow, I will reestablish this equilibrium. And so I can rely on the equilibrium ratio from my first reaction to calculate the amount of B present at any point in the reaction. So in other words, the equilibrium constant for this first step is equal to the concentration of B divided by the concentration of A. And so my concentration of B will be equal to my equilibrium constant times the concentration of A. Now I have my concentration of B in terms of reactant concentrations. The overall rate of reaction is how fast the product appears in time, which is equal to K2 times B times C. Substituting in for my expression for B, I have K2 times the equilibrium constant times A times C. And I can see that in this case, I would expect that my rate of reaction will be second order, first order in A and first order in C, so second order overall. This is different than the rate law I got when I considered the consecutive reactions where B was in steady state. This points out that although the reactions themselves may be exactly the same, part of a mechanism is determining which is the slowest step in the reaction. Here we can see when the slowest step is the second step, I get a second order reaction kinetics, whereas if the first step is the slow step, I would expect to get close to first order reaction kinetics.